Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching Marimashita Irumakun episode 15. So, last episode, um, Iruma, Osmodius, and Clara, uh, I guess started their first day at the Magical Apparatus Club, or uh, it's basically a club, but, uh, Oh, God, what do they call them? Uh, Battler. That's what they call them. Uh, they basically got a tour of the place, and we're, show we're pretty much going to set up a stand during the, I guess, having the parents around, you know, to see uh, the Battlers and stuff like that. Basically a parent day. Um, Sullivan isn't going to be there. He's still being uh, held by uh, border uh, border control for illegally entering the human world. But uh, he has no idea how they even got the information. Uh, we find out later how. And Iruma comes up with the idea that they should set off fireworks. Now, they have no idea what fireworks are. Um, he tries to explain it, but he figures it's better to just show them. So he gets a hold of Ameri, the uh, student council president, uh, to get the volume of the manga they've been reading with uh, the fireworks festival. Um, she, on the other hand, thinks that he wants to read the volume again to her so she's getting ready she's got her tea and her snacks and her table all set and he tells her oh wait no that's not what I wanted I wanted to borrow the book uh and she's telling him you know I can't do that this is a what do they call it a it's not a forbidden text like I can't remember what kind of text she says it is and he's he was going to just let it go, but then he brought up that they were going to try to make fireworks. And that got her pretty excited, because she wants to see them. So she she didn't outright say, go ahead and borrow it. She just kind of let him know that she was about to leave, and might accidentally leave the volume out in the open, where he can find it. <laughs> uh, so he grabs it after goes back to the battler and they start working on making some fireworks um they do get it working so now they're just waiting until the event uh they decided to stay at the school overnight to work on it which uh for this kind of thing i guess they allow because you need if you need extra time to work on stuff they don't want you to be rushing throughout the day and then have to leave at night so if you want to stay you can stay um so they got permission, they stayed, they worked on it. Then they had their sleepover. Um, and we find out that... I can't remember his name. The one in charge of the battler has a... Uh, a guardian. He doesn't really have any parents. But his guardian... Uh, basically looking out for him. Calls him. And we find out it's one of those guys from the uh, meeting with the top uh, heroes of the underworld. I can't remember his name, but he was uh, the loud one. <laughs> it was starting a fight with, I think, the, the werewolf-looking dude. If he was a werewolf-looking dude, I can't remember exactly. But I know he started a fight with somebody. Um, basically, they plan on blowing up the school. Or at least a part of the school. Uh, to start some to get things going apparently I don't know what kind of things but they have a plan and I guess the fireworks kind of worked into that somehow I don't know if they're going to find out the plan and try to convince him not to do it or if they're going to if he's going to do it and then they're going to try to like take him in or something I don't know going to have to wait and see what happens in this episode. I don't know if they'll get to it this episode. Maybe they'll get to it next episode. But let's get into it and see. 
Alright, so the video is going to be located over here, and the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. And we're going to start this episode in three, two, one.